Obviously, you know, the 48 jobs that have been created um, in this mill are certainly huge for the community. You know, the spin-off jobs will be about three times as many as well. So, you know, it's going to bring 120 jobs into the community. So it's, it's a great program and it's a community-driven program. The, the community of, of Greenwood and Midway are the ones that instigated this and they worked with uh, Minister Bell at the time, Forest Minister, and, and uh, everybody was really gung-ho. So there's a lot of community members that have invested into it as well. And I think it's just a sign of what community spirit and partnerships is all about. Through the construction phase, we were actually probably had somewhere between 50 and 60 people employed through different contractors. Uh, and I've heard a lot from the community that everything is, has picked up. They had a really rough winter the last few winters. And this winter's been a lot uh, less harsh on, on everybody in the community, which has obviously been good. And then the, the workforce here, a lot of the guys that were going to the oil patch are now staying home. They're able to go to their uh, their son's hockey hockey games and do some of the things with the family that they weren't able to do before and and being able to provide a family wage job to these guys is is great and it's great to see that it's uh, they've got pride in the community again and this is just revitalizing the whole area um, brought a lot of workers back that uh, you know worked here in the mill and we put a bunch of loggers back to work and truckers and just everything's busier, you know, people are upbeat. We would certainly like to employ more members of this community and the, the uh, trickle-down effect of jobs out in the woods and the surrounding areas would be beneficial to everyone. So whatever we can do to help that and work with the provincial government to do that, we'll do.